Well, hi there again. I am so happy that you really enjoyed this uh, tutorial that I made with the skin tones and uh, all the little details that have been added. And you ask about the gold because you saw it posted and I'm going to do a, a bit of a tutorial with the gold. But also, I'm going to show you how I do backgrounds with the pigments, which are the colors that I'm using, the latest ones, part of the skin collection and part of the metallics. The metallics are not available yet. I'm still working on them, but you can see how stunning they are and how well they blend. So let me put the camera here for a moment. And I'm going to get the tray and the spoon. And I'm going to get some of this brown, which I think is very nice. See that? And I'm going to get another one of this bit of mocha that I like a lot. Hmm? Okay. And I'm going to get some of this lighter uh, bit of... Uh, it's got some rust and it's got some uh, raw amber on it. And I'm going to prepare my palette. There are ways, there are two ways that you can do this. You can do this by, oh, there's the gold, the gold that I have prepared in my little bowls to show you what I'm going to do with that. But there I prepare my palette and I take a brush. I would say, mm, this one looks good. And I begin to mix and match. I usually get from the colors and I bring them towards the center. And I just pack and blend and pack and pack. And then I begin adding my pigment maybe I should come down a little bit because this seems like very high is that better? yeah so I begin to work my way do you see the coverage? because that medallion right there that you see right there that medallion is mounted on a stone old stone wall so I follow my design As the way the wall is the, with the little cracks and all that good stuff you know I'm gonna take that little piece of tape out of there if I can get that damn piece of tape out of there I don't want that there there gone okay see that and what this does, this is your first layer of application. And the purity of these pigments is that the coverage is absolutely wonderful. There. But of course, like I've been saying all along, half of the stuff that I have on my brush falls down. I hate that noise. If this was laying down, you would see a lot more coverage. There. See what I mean? Then some more, bring towards the center.
scratch a little bit in there here. And now that I got those boundaries taken care of, this is here. I get a cotton ball and I come over here. Remember that? And I just go like this. And finish adding. The rest. Which, of course, I will come back to this. You see that change? You see that to that and how easy I did all that? I will be coming back to that and I'm going to detail it with a uh, color pencil and a bit of graphite. So now, put it down again. I grab my brush, get a bit of more all the colors towards the center, pat again, and then, let me see. Oh, no, no, that's going to be the goal. No, sorry, I have to go up here. See, you have to be careful when you, you have to be careful with you, the, the section that you're working, the stupid knob. See? Oh, and a little bit up there that I just left. I'm done. Okay. And okay. See how well it go it works with watercolor? You see that? It blends right in. Right in. Okay. Again, blend, blend. I work my way around the details first. Get out that way and that way. See? And once I got that cover, my hang is so tired. My hand is absolutely dead. I am exhausted, guys. Very tired indeed. Then I come over and I can easily apply the rest of the pigment. Oof, my hand is killing me. I've been grinding too many powders and blending too much. So again, do you see what I'm doing? You get the idea, right? So let's not waste more time up there and come down to the side. Set it. See how well it works with, with graphite? It's like you can tell where you begin and where you left out. Oh, beautiful. Neat. Mm 
meet again. See that? And again. And lastly. Now, let me put it here. Get a cotton ball. Because once I use a cotton ball for a little while, it gets kind of ringly, and I like to use a fresh one. Look how well it works with the ink. Look at that coverage. It's like you can do no wrong. You see that? You can do no wrong. It does the same thing for the skin. Oh, I love it. And I'm so grateful that you guys are enjoying this and, and liking the, the pigments and the, the graphite powders and the lifter and all that good stuff. There's nothing more fun than art. This is the most wonderful craziness in the world. No drugs, no love affair, no chopping spree, nothing can compare to the feeling of being an artist and creating your own masterpieces and getting the feedback from others. And, and the wonderful thing about all this is that you never stop learning. Never. Look at that. In just 10 minutes, I have been able to cover that entire 30 inch background effortlessly. Of course, I will come back I don't believe I have any color pencils with me on this side of the house. No. No, the color pencils are on the other side. But I will do a tutorial for you guys on texturing. But so far, you can see with the pigments, the plate, etc., that this is, this is really outstanding. It's a good product and I know you will enjoy them. Also, I'm not going to make this too long so I'm going to stop this and then I'm going to do another tutorial with the application of the gold. Okay? So, thank you for watching. Bye bye.